perfect form. Shield straight to the face, can't the head away so you don't admit that you're beating someone to death. And throw those hips out. Good job, good job. What's up guys, we back with Tabs. Totally accurate battle simulator. I don't know if it's all that accurate, but we're gonna continue to find out. So let's get straight into this. I think we had to fight a couple bards today. Yes, the level is called Oh No, Run Away. And in my outro last time, we defeated them with a bunch of halflings. So we're gonna try again today, but I think we're gonna put rules in for the episodes where I have to use the enemy's faction or before their faction. So let's start with tribal. And we're gonna actually just throw in a couple spear throwers and see if they just pick them off or if they just run off the freaking edge of the cliff. But there's one and there goes two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine you missed from point blank range you both missed he's not even a half length the length away please for the love of god hit him oh my god thank you I thought I was gonna be sitting here all day. Oh, so the next mission is called All the Bones. And that is a lot of bone mages. Okay, so since our deal is we can only use their faction or close to, that means we can only use the tribal faction. So I'm thinking we just send in a bunch of clubbers. And fluffy. Let's go, Fluffy! Just don't run over our own guys. I didn't think about that. Oh, nice. And the bodies are flying. At least they took out some of their own people. Get him, Fluffy! Just, just keep, just, just trample him, trample him. Don't worry about that, Clever. He, he knew what he signed up for. Thank you, Fluffy. Do you guys remember when I struggled with the two halflings on the ledge? Well, now we have a clubber on the ledge. So I feel like this is gonna be clubber on clubber because that's the only unit I can use. In the tribal faction, that'll be the same price. Well, let's see how clubber versus clever does. Do God's work, my man. Don't jump down. He died when he fell. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Maybe it was just he had to walk too far on the straight line and he fell off. You know, clubbers usually aren't the soberest of people, so let's try this again. Don't you fall off. Don't you fall off. Don't you, yes, let him fall off. He landed on his head and survived. Are you kidding me? Where are you going? Just play dead, I think this is working. Oh, my head hurts. So our clubber is still stuck on the wall playing dead. And this clubber is now stuck on the wall. I'm trying to go upstairs. Redo. Don't you fall off the ledge. Dude, did you just... You know, I that last one did give me a headache and I watched for a while. But you didn't have to take him out by hitting him in the groin. The loins. I don't know. The tiniest attack. I see a farmer up on the hill and I see little poofs of blue in the hay. So I'm going to assume there's a bunch of halflings in there. Oh, there's also something over here. Oh, well, they got a couple halflings over there too. Okay. So we can use farmers or tribal. I really want to go bowling. Halflings are tiny. Stones are big. We're going bowling. Oh, there's some off in the... There's some behind the house? How are they put on my side? That's cheating, you buttheads. Well, so far... Oh, I forgot stoners take a minute to reload. Oh, that's a dog pile over there. 
Are you guys doing okay? Yes, maybe so. Oh, I don't think we're doing all that great. Okay, at least they can swing with the rocks too. I mean, we're, we're doing okay. There's like four of them over here. How are you guys doing? Oh, they didn't do good. Can you guys turn around? By chance, turn around, turn around, turn around. Okay, finish them off and turn around. You got a farmer still. Look pretty accurate, that pitchfork. Hit the farmer at least. For the love of God, hit the farmer. Take the farmer out, please. He's just... The halflings are just lining you guys up for attacks. Oh, this hurts. Please? Never mind. So, fun fact, after I found that ice giant and realized they were secret units, I went on the hunt on my own time to find some. And fun fact, there were a few secret units in the tribal area that I found. So we have the raptor, and we have the raptor rider. And they're going to be accompanied by a bunch of shield bearers and two clevers. Let's see how that works. All right, and they're all gonna turn for the ones off to the side, except for a few shield bearers. Oh, that is just pile up on aisle three. You guys doing good? Yeah, I didn't think uh, the bite-sized snacks of halflings would be all that much for a raptor. Don't get stuck in the tree, please. I know potatoes are potatoes. I know pumpkins are enticing, but don't get stuck. Oh, we're just dominating the battlefield. Oh yeah, dog pile. Show them our own dog pile. Halflings, you don't know how to dog pile. Raptors know how to dog pile. Oh, that is amazing. Just Yeah, just tear that guy limb from limb. <laughs> so this one's called bread and butter. And we have clubbers, we have farmers, we have the paladins. I think they were paladins. The shield bearers? And uh, some of the Viking ones. I don't remember which ones they were. I don't think I played with the Vikings all that much. So we can use all the way up to the Viking class on this one. Hmm. I wanted to kind of mix and match like they did. I didn't have that much money to mix and match for the units I wanted. So we got one catapult, we got one snake archer, and two protectors. I don't think the protectors are going to do much protecting, but I'm really hoping the snake and the catapult do more damage than anything else. We may have misconsidered this one. The catapult's gone. And the snake archer's gone. Got it. Mm-hmm. You know what? The snake archers have failed me almost every time I've used them. So let's see if they fail me again. Come on, snake archers. Oh yeah, get those sneaky snakes in there. Oh, those snakes did pretty dang well. Oh, never mind. The headbutters jump. I thought they died. Can we reload? Reload, please. Or not. You know who's never failed me? Potion sellers. They just need some backup from some clubbers. Okay, clubbers, you just, just distract. Okay, and your distraction was not all that great. Potion sellers, please and thank you. You are my men. Oh, perfect. Just, just keep, just keep knocking them down. Knocking them down. Come on, throw. Perfect. Don't no, get that one. Oh, thank you. Okay, they're coming in pretty hot. You guys need to throw a couple more. Potion sellers. Oh, perfect. Kind of hit yourselves there, but whatever works, works. That dude just flew. How we doing, potion sellers? How we doing? Oh, please tell me there's more than one of you alive. Potion seller? Potion seller. Oh god, there's only one left. Hit the clubber, hit the clubber, hit the clubber, hit the clubber. Thank you. Oh, he's down. This isn't good. Where'd the dude over here go? Wasn't there like two or three alive still? What? Did he just fall off into the... Oh, he fell to his death. Got it. Good job, potion sellers. I knew you could do it. I swear. So this fun little board is called Only Dual Wielders. So we have some chieftains in the barbarians or something like berserkers or something like that. I haven't had a chance to play with the Vikings all that much. 
So only dual wielders, huh? Got it. So I don't have many dual wielding units besides the ones that they're already using, but I do have a tree giant and there's a halfling for scale. Maybe a couple halflings to help him out. Let's see how this one works out. Mr. Tree Giant, can you just, you know, thwack them into another area code? You are wielding a tree. Um, you're pretty slow. Oh, well, he went flying. Oh my goodness, he's gone. Might need to give you a little bit better backup, but I think we can do this. Ow, that probably hurt. Oh. Well, he went to a different area code. Thank you. Can you quit, quit, quit tripping over him and hit him? There we go. Good job, Mr. Tree Giant. And today's pain and suffering is brought to you by a farmer on a wall. You know what, Mr. Farmer? I will raise you your pitchfork and give you a shield. Oh, he survived. So did he. This might not be good. Come on, get in there, farmer. Get in there. Why was I rooting for the farmer? I meant shield bearer. Or I mean protector. Good job, protector. Good job. Perfect form. Shield straight to the face. Cant the head away so you don't admit that you're beating someone to death. And throw those hips out. Good job. Good job. So this round is called a scythe of scythes. Because the scythe wielders are wearing are in a formation of a scythe. I don't like formations. So my good sir Bob Ross, do you please mind running them over and getting rid of their um, formation for me? Please and thank you. Ready, set, go. Oh yeah, here comes all the chaos. All the chaos. And the nice thing about Bob Ross is once his wheelbarrow gets broken, he's now three units. They got the farmer, an apple thrower, and Bob Ross. And they didn't do anything. You know what? I have so much freaking money to just spend on stuff that we're just gonna throw a crud ton of stuff at them. So we got a bunch of clubbers, a bunch of protectors, a bone mage, a stoner. We got potion sellers, we got spear throwers, we have scarecrows, and we have Bob Ross. So if this doesn't do it, I don't know what does or what will. We're going quantity over quality. I don't know. I think we killed one of their guys. And we confused one of our own guys. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Potion sellers. I think there's one left. Can you please confuse them? Okay, we have two potion sellers left. And a spear thrower. I see the bone mage didn't help at all. There goes the scarecrow. Okay, got it. Maybe we need quality over quantity. So we're using the trump card. We're using three fluffies and three potion sellers. Fluffy, you haven't let me down before. Please don't do now. I even brought your brothers with you for backup. And don't trample the potion sellers. Okay, so the fluffies are getting it. Come on, Mr. Fluffies. Oh no, they killed a Fluffy. How dare you kill my Fluffy? I swear to God, if you kill all my Fluffies, it's it's on. No, they killed another Fluffy. They killed my Fluffies. Oh, it's on. It's on now. Mm. So one of the other farming special units I found was the wheel dragon, I think is what it was. So we got Bob Ross pushing a wheelbarrow with the dragon on it. So we're gonna send two of those and a tree giant after them. See if that works. Go get him, Mr. Dragons. Oh, they breathe fire. Oh yeah, and one of them's already dead. Okay, wheelbarrow dragons aren't all that strong. Bob Ross, you're a failure. Mr. Tree Giant, don't lay down. That's how they get you. You gotta stand up tall. They can't reach you if you're tall. Well, this might have been a failure. Yeah, Mr. Tree Giant got stuck on the ground. 
He's not good at standing back up once he's down. Okay, so since Fluffy's didn't work, Tree Giant didn't work, Bob Ross didn't work, our last solution is a crud ton of potion sellers. But we're gonna be tactical about this. We got our potion sellers in the center to draw on the forces. We have some off to the side so they can come in as reinforcements. And we have a couple stragglers over here as well. So let's see how this one goes. Hopefully good. Oh, and the potions are flying. The potions are flying. We got some of the stragglers walking off to the side. Our guys on the other side are hitting themselves. That's not a help. Okay, we got them distracted. They're going for the uh, pumpkins. That's good. They're getting dangerously close there, guys. You should probably hit them a couple more times. Just, just a few more times. I might have needed to straggle them out a little bit more. Oh, we got a couple going down, but but we're doing good. I don't think a single one of them is that. Oh no, I take that back. We killed one of them. Oh, okay, those two are still good. You might want to start throwing some potions. Lots of potions. They don't get confused as well as other units. Yeah. Okay, you know what, you stupid scythe willing buttheads? I'm not playing this game no more. So I'm sending a barrage of freaking spears at you. I will make the sky go dark with spears before you can even get close to my people. Fire the spears. Oh, oh, that was amazing. Please reload. Oh, you guys have a really long reload time. That's not good. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Maybe I shouldn't put so many over in that corner. Oh, we are doing amazing. Who needs friggin... Jeez, that girl just turned into a pincushion. Who needs expensive units when they can just overpower them with pointy sticks? That worked. Moving on. So the next one is called Honoring Their Champion. And it looks like a bunch of hoblites. And some of them are on my side. How does that work? Isn't that cheating? Are there more of you hiding around somewhere? Doesn't look like it. They're all just hiding over there. Huh. But you know what, guys? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. But if you like this video, make sure you leave a like on it. If you're not a subscriber and you like watching my stuff, ring the bell icon and hit the subscribe button so you know when I upload new stuff. And if there's any games you want to see me play, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to get to them when I have some free time. Boys! I love you. That is a huge pile of halflings. Well, at least the halflings didn't win the round while I was doing my outro this time. Um, so I might be mistaken, and the halflings might have won my outro again. There's a halfling stuck in the pile somewhere. And the hoblites keep killing each other trying to get to it. Oh, there he is. He's there. Okay, never mind. They didn't win. He should have stayed hidden just a little bit longer.